So I'm going to make some um, uh, full fat coffee, bulletproof coffee, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to make some of that to show you. There are effectively I've got three ways in which you can make it, and depends as to what you've got handy um, to be able to make it at home. Um, so the best version of full fat bulletproof coffee is using coconut oil. Hang on, get the right label. Getting so this is the organic. And it'll say on the jar, it'll say raw and cold pressed. Um, what it means is it's got the smell and the taste of coconut. Um, if you don't like the, the taste or the smell of coconut, then you can buy the, the, the cooking version of coconut oil. I'll do it in a little frother first. So here's a little glass frother, um, which if you know, getting completely sort of manual. So I know you can get these as a, um, sleeve like a flask type sleeve so because this is quite um, breakable I'm surprised we haven't broken it already the part of the bulletproof is coconut oil and butter so unsalted butter I cut my blocks of butter so there you go N nice new block of butter I cut them into sort of down the middle half and then cut them into little chunks it's about 10, 15 grams. If you get about 22 to 24 chunks out of it, you can always have one block of butter ready in the fridge just for your coffee if you want. I don't do bulletproof every single day. I'm still fast fasted. This is not technically still fasting if you're having a bulletproof, but I'm not eating until later. So there's a good sort of teaspoon of uh, coconut oil there. Again, it's about 10, 15 grams. I'm not going to weigh everything every time I do it. It's, I know it's about the same. Um, and then my freshly filtered coffee. Right, I'm only going to add in, and I've made the mistake on this one a few times, is there's a line all the way down here. Um, and it says don't overfill it. Now initially, quite obviously, I didn't pay any attention, and I did overfill it. Um, and it went, then went and splattered everywhere. So these little ones, they're great because you get that nice little froth. Done. So you can see it's really nice and frothy. It's going to be about half a cup in there. I'll just top it up. So that is the sort of fairly easy, straightforward way to make it with a little frother. Um, and it is. Oh, bloody lovely. Right. Um, if you haven't got one of these, but you might have one of these, then obviously you can do the whole thing in here. You, you need to do it in a cylinder, to use one of these, you need a tall cylinder. Again, it's the same sort of concept. You need to try and keep the coffee quite low down. Um, so I know it's already blended, but you'd be putting everything inside the coffee. So you can sort of see, I think this container holds just over a liter. Um, so you want to put it in the bottom so you can get the, the blades to the bottom of the container. And just emulsify it that way. So that's really straightforward. That's my normal method, um, just because I can put the whole cup in one go. Um, oops, I just spit a little bit. Um, <laughs> All um, over there. I have well. literally made a mess of the counter just by doing this. And then, quite obviously, you can use your NutriBullet. Now, I'm not an enormous fan of doing coffee in one of these for the simple reason it's a sealed unit and anything hot in a sealed unit is creating more pressure. So yes, put it all in. Yes, give it a quick quick blitz, it'll be done. But it's this bit. When it's hot, pst, you know you can get sprayed with it. So if you're gonna use one of these, um, let the coffee cool down for a few minutes uh, because what you don't wanna be doing is put a 100 degree or close to 100 degree coffee in one of these and then spinning it. Um, so yes, you can use it, but be careful. Um, I tend, I, I very, very rarely, in fact, I don't think I've ever really made a coffee in there apart from when I've been round at other people's houses and that's all they've had. So these things, if you're in the UK, these things, uh, Argos for, I think they're about six quid, absolutely nothing. Um, but yes, they are made of glass. So 
just be careful and yes pay attention to the fill line here um, if you overfill it as you're frothing it it's going to come spurting out um, if you've got a stick blender tall cylinder it'll all be made in there and if you've got a neutral bullet just be careful you can do it um, but pay attention to it when you're unscrewing it and obviously this is effectively a meal replacement um, it's it's 99.9% .9 fat because obviously all we've added in is coconut oil and butter um, potentially 3 350 calories um, so it is the equivalent of a meal so be careful if you're don't you shouldn't really be drinking your bulletproof along with your your lunch or dinner um, it is to be used instead of um, yes it's high fat if you haven't tried bulletproof before then maybe go with slightly smaller quantities of the coconut oil and the, and the, the butter um, because again there's quite a lot of fat in one go in a liquid which is obviously pre-digested so it can cause some digestive issues so just be aware of that don't sort of just go straight in with a huge spoon of coconut oil and a huge chunk of butter because um, it could possibly upset your stomach um, it's really creamy the amount of people that say when I, when I talk about sort of making a bulletproof style coffee um, that I put coconut oil and butter in my coffee if they're not keto that sounds horrible I've never had anyone who have then made it for go okay I don't like that because everyone and every it, it, it can help replace the sugar content a friend of mine many a little while ago when he was round he was having three coffees sorry three sugars in his coffee made him one of these no sugar required um, so yes be careful when you first make it don't try and don't have too many um, because it is pure fat so no vitamins no minerals um, pure fats in here um, it's a great boost great afternoon boost um, but really one a day two at absolute tops would be would be um, you know the most you should be having um, and enjoy it all right, so that's fat fuel coffee. Um, perfect for getting you going in the mornings or sort of avoiding that afternoon slump. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have, hit subscribe.